Hello folks and welcome to North Texas Hunting and Outdoor Adventure. Alright folks, welcome to another hunting episode. Episode 156. I'm at the 4P Ranch doing a hog hunt this morning. Now it feels nice and cool right now, but I know it's going to be another hot day today. So, I did, I was successful last night and shot a big old hog, this one right here. And you see what happens out here in this one. There's been a lot of hogs over here. Hogs are out of control. The last time I was out here, I was, uh, I believe it was April 4th and shot me a hog right here at this location. So, let's see what happens and well, I'll be right back, right after this. Well folks, it's 6 a.m. You got a rabbit underneath the feeder. And about 30 seconds ago, I heard some hogs to my right. So they are nearby. They might be at the pond. There's a pond. This area right here, there's a... It might be in that in that pond right now. I just can't see the water, but yeah. You see that little rabbit right there? A small little rabbit. All right, folks. I'll be right back. Oh, I hear a doe. I think she heard me. Yeah, I got busted by them. The air just right is blowing towards me, so hogs won't be able to smell me. All right, great. Be right back. Well, folks, I have a doe, a couple of fawns, and a couple of fawns. Mama with two babies. Hogs should be coming out any time now. Feels good this morning. It looks like on the other side of the doe, there's another. So I don't know, it might be two does with a fawn each. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Got a baby right there. Baby right there, mama. And there's another one better. Yeah, there's two does. They probably have a fawn each. It is so cool. But it's not uh, deer season. And I only have permission to hunt hogs out here anyway. Yeah, the hogs should be coming out any time, maybe in about 30 minutes. Another 30 minutes, the hogs will come out and play. And if they do, I got a surprise for them. All right, folks, I'll be right back. Right now, it's the perfect time for a thumbs up. We got some hogs right under the feeder, a lot of small ones. Try to see if I can get two hogs with one shot. I gotta make sure this deer get out of the way. Yeah, here, that's a perfect shot right there. But can't take a shot when the doe's right in front of him. 
Oh, can't do it. <laughs> and goes right in the middle. So, man, those are nice little uh, good eaters. They're small. Look like a seventy, maybe eighty pound small little hogs. All right, that one hog scared it away. So maybe right here I can give me a couple of. Them. All right, here we go. Oh man, that she just got in the way. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, that's the one I'm gonna take. That might be Mama right there. Oh, still behind it. Yeah, I think that's Mama. Yep, that's the one I'm taking. You will take two shots right there. I'm going to turn this off and maybe they'll come right back. All right, folks, I'm switched over to black hot. The feeder just went off. And I'm hoping that the hogs will come back. I got some deer activity. But they're not too sure about them. They're not too sure. They see a... Uh, See this hog here and look like they're a little skittish. Alright folks. I'm not sure if them hogs will show up. I don't know that pack that the ones that were here earlier. Maybe we'll get uh, some more hogs. But the ones that's left. I don't think they'll be back, but you never know, they might. They get hungry enough that they might come back. All right, I'll be right back. Thumbs up, if you like what you've seen so far. Well, folks. I still got some deer activity out here. earlier when I shot it. this hawk right here I was actually aiming trying to get a hit shot at that big old sow and um, I don't know if this one was behind that big old sow or in front of it but I know they're all together and uh, but I was hoping I'd get a hit shot on that sow so what I'm going to do, once all this deer activity leaves, uh, I'm going to see if I can see if there's any blood and uh, maybe follow the blood trail and see if I can locate that uh, sow. And I've counted at least 15 fawns with spots. So it's going to be a, yeah, it's going to be a good year for a, hunted uh, venison out here yep and 
maybe the uh, the owner of the 4P ranch, maybe he'll let me uh, come out here and thin out the herd because there's a lot of deer activity out here. In my opinion, it's overpopulated. All right, folks, I'm going to end this video. And I'm going to do another evening hunt this evening and then maybe tomorrow morning. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go set the trap and maybe I can uh, trap some hogs tonight. And then I'll check that hog trap in the morning. But uh, this is all for today. So right up here or up there somewhere up there, there's my personal icon. I encourage you to check out these videos down here and I'll see you on the next video. All right.